We're back at Radio Bear Bones Broadcasting. Norman was stuck spelling. I was just talking about a, a man that passed away that I really enjoyed, and I liked him, man. I'll always like him. I'll always remember someone I like. I didn't mean to cause any problems with him, even though, you know, out of that position, even though the, the editorial is going to stay just the same as if he wasn't there, and that is the problem. All the people writing these idiot editorials could die this instant, be replaced, and you'd get the same point of view. Now, what do you think about that? Is it, oh, the owner does not. Nah, the owner doesn't. It's tradition that doesn't. It is. And those positions are filled by and for and are selling newspapers to and are peasing tradition. Yes, they are, and they demand it. Just like the altar does. Like even some ways the military does. Um, you're all doing it across the globe. You're, you're just appeasing tradition. You're, you're hiding behind religion like children in a shield. You're not having any fun. You're over-disciplining the damnedest aspects of your living for nothing. I watch you pushing yourselves into suffering for absolutely nothing. You're butchering your children. You're forcing them into disciplines that are so irrelevant, it is astounding. Someday they're going to pull you out of your houses when they figure it out, and I'm afraid of what's going to happen. You can't keep this up, because these people will put two and two together, and they're going to grab you and pull you out of your houses for being so absolutely stupid. That reason alone. You can expect it. You're living so corny. You're living so mocking wit. You have no other tradition yet wit, and you're calling this tradition, which it really isn't. You say tradition is everything. Well, you're mocking it. This isn't tradition for humans. To say that you have an evil nature is not traditional. And all the little skits you put on because of it is not traditional. You mock childbirth horribly. The conception problem or process of humans, you shatter everything about the meaning of it. It is astounding the absence of accurate description to everything about all of your conceptions. None of you are conceived in any kind of an accurate mindset by anybody doing it. Are you aware of that? The people having children, their mind is fogged every time birth is conceived among them. For a long time. One of that. You're breeding in a puddle and sewer of mind every time it happens. honest with yourself. At least none of them are honest with themselves when it takes place. None of them. For three and a half million years, I figure. You have the absence of weaning, breeding. You tell me what you got. And you, none of you have been weaned. None of you. So because you haven't been weaned and there you are breeding it, you tell me who's breeding. Who? Somebody balanced, somebody aware. You, say, you call awareness enlightenment. Oh, he reached enlightenment. So, what? You know what enlightenment gives you? Work. And when it don't, you ain't enlightened. Because you'll, you won't let anybody stop you from it. You're duty bound. And you'll come up with a word to make yourself, no matter if you get lazy, you will find out some word to make yourself. What of that? You'll search the term to get to your conscience, whether you like it or not, when you're enlightened. And you'll do the dirty work that nobody else will do when you're enlightened. And when you aren't doing that, you're not enlightened. Got it? It's the lowest point on the pole. Not the highest one. It's the place of least respect. Not the place of most respect. At least the position. You get in the position that is least respected. 
and man it better than anyone ever has. When you're enlightened, you are the most generous SOB on the globe, and everyone thinks you're cuckoo. You are so full of glee in that position, no one knows why. My daughter's enlightened. She went to Clackamas County Jail and had glee. The jailer literally pooped. She's enlightened. They have beat the hell out of her. Jealous of it. Want a bat? She enlightened ran with scum that don't know anything about it, never will. Jealous, they beat her to shreds. Want a bat? She's enlightened. Beat up. She loses balance. So far, has got no recognition to it. There's a in psychologist under investigation, and he needs to. Dorvin Worvin, the coolie kid, who mocked her illness. If it isn't, it's a condition. She's enlightened wounded. You want to call it illness? I suppose you can. It's a broken arm of the mind. It is very healable, especially in her case. She has certainly proven that, as he well knows, and he had no business doing that. And then mocking us, crying out in pain. Dumb, Gorbin. <clears throat> anyway, I brought that up because that's how enlightened people behave. They bring jealousy, and at the same time, people who understand, let's say, um, human behavior, are not disrespectful to them at all. And the jailer was not disrespectful to my daughter at all. In fact, quite the opposite. Quite encouraging. It gave me a delight. It's like reading the Bible. Watching my daughter's life is like reading the Bible. What a bet. It's about enlightened people and hypocrites being jealous of them. And how irony fixes their rear end. That's what it's about. Better love.